Barnyard! Oh yeah, you didn't think I'd be talking about something like this, did you? After my little surf's up adventure and finding out how underrated it was, I figured I'd take a peek at some other animated films by smaller companies. So today, we're taking a look at Nickelodeon's Barnyard of all things, because... Why not? There's no actual plot to this movie, it's more of a coming-of-age story. So basically there's this barn, right? With all these talking animals, and they're led by Ben the Cow. But Ben gets killed by a pack of coyotes while trying to protect the barnyard late at night. So the responsibility for his job then falls into the hands of his irresponsible son, Kevin James. I mean, this cow here. Sorry, it's hard to tell the difference. Yeah, that's right. It's a Kevin James movie. Already getting points taken off for that one. Anyways, this cow's name is Otis, and he has to suppress his party animal instincts to take responsibility. He has to be in charge, he has to fight off the coyotes, and there's nothing else to talk about. And if you noticed, I didn't talk about any other characters either, because none of them matter! Look, I know the movie was made just for the TV show, but they could have at least tried. I mean, look at these guys. Pig is the fat slob, because of course he is. Pip is just Sheen from Jimmy Neutron, Sassy Black Cow is Sassy Black Cow, and of course Duke is overused dog joke number 54. I guess that's alright though, the plot only calls for Otis to be a developed character, why bother working on the other guys? But to be fair, the other guys do get a laugh out of me from time to time. You have this snotty kid whose personality is so over-exaggerated that it's never not funny. You've got this guy who's obviously unhappy with his marriage and life in general. And then you've got this police officer who makes this very creepy joke towards children. Yeah, we'll shake him up a bit, send him home. Get out, kids. Nothing little strip search won't cure ya. <laughs> is this thing still on? This is a kid's movie, right? Oh, and speaking of that, this movie is also the source of one of the most disgusting memes I have ever seen. Biggie Cheese. Whatever you do, do not Google Biggie Cheese. Anyways, moving on. Get it? Because it's about cows. Cows! All right, so the animation very clearly leaves a lot to be desired, especially for a movie in 2006. To be fair though, no super good animated films came out that year. But let's see, story's meh, characters are meh, the humor is actually pretty all right, the animation is meh. Are there any other positives I can find? Actually, yes, there are. We get to hear a sweet cover of Johnny Cash's song, Won't Back Down. Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. Okay, technically the song belongs to Tom Petty, but once Johnny Cash covers your song, it's no longer your song. Ugh, I'm fighting the urge to sing it right now. Curse my insecurities and not wanting to sing in front of anyone. But anyways, this song actually comes at a very quiet moment, which this movie is surprisingly good at. From the trailers, you just expect it to be nothing but a loud, obnoxious kids movie. But there's plenty of quiet moments where characters just sit and talk things out under a night sky, and it's great. But unfortunately, it's not enough to save the entire movie. It has some funny moments, it has some good moments, but overall, the bland plot, bland characters, and mediocre animation, plus the fact that it was clearly made for the TV series, makes Barnyard a C movie. 